I think I've successfully made the compass. So this part always shows to the north. See? See? It's a compass. I didn't know it was that easy to make a compass. <laughs> okay, compass. Uh, let's begin. I need to lift that up first. With this, I've just brought some essential tools, not all of them. Now, lucky I've got a head cam, so I don't need to worry about holding holding stuff. There we are. Steady? Is it steady? Steady as it'll ever be. Okay. Let's put this here. Pack this out. A bit more. Put this in for safety as always. <sighs> okay, let's see. So now, take these out. Hopefully I'm not gonna need them. Because I'll be replacing them with something like that. With the stainless steel washer, so hopefully it doesn't stick, you know, to the, to the metal as it rusts. Because it will rust. Okay. So now I think I'll just clean this up a little bit. So it's nice and flat on the surface. Clean like that. Maybe I need the screwdriver for a deeper cleaning or a little mallet because there's a bit of rust. If I smack it, it will fall off. Or just take something like this and you don't need to go anywhere. Well, I will need to go because I'm going to need some A little bit of uh, uh, oil, you know that grease, because I'm gonna grease this thing. So it always has that grease layer in between until it gets washed out. Take as much as much rest as possible. Like so. Clean this a little bit. Clean this a little bit. Maybe give it some grease as well. Clean the spring a little bit. Yeah. 
Yeah, looking better. That's another another thing that springs that pulls your cable. Uh, well, I'll probably need to change that cable at some point. I think because it, it was getting stuck. I think it's mostly because of the pad slipping off. But I think the cable it's not been changed we'll see we'll see maybe it'll be okay okay so now i need some grease oil then i can put this on tighten it okay okay so here we are nice and clean a little bit of Mr. Greasy Grease on the surface what will that do is prevent of prevent any water getting into here and that will protect the metal from rusting of course it will get washed out over a few years I think but until it does it will protect it there you go. very nice and greasy look at that beautiful Greasy, all greasy. Maybe there's even a little bit too much grease. Wash a little bit off. Yeah, like that. I think so. Beautiful. Now, if you remember, because I can't turn this nipple here because it's stuck to this pipe I can only uh, screw the back plate onto this and then position it and then some sort of um, uh, tighten this with a special uh, spanner and for that I've got this spanner which is 911 as you can see here, I don't know why. Uh, the one we need is 11. Boop, 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 for final tightenment. So, what we do now is uh, take this. Oh, it's getting heavy. I wonder if you can get these in aluminium. That'd be awesome. Because I've seen on, on the mini, you get aluminium drums with some, you know, like feathers like, so it's even cooling, but that's probably for extreme sporting racing, I think, because you're never gonna go that fast in a Mini. For your rear brakes to overheat. Okay, so this needs to be taken off there. Now, what we need to do is screw in the ABS sensor because otherwise there will not be any chance of doing it later. So, boom, like that. Uh, see, I'm gonna need some Allen keys for this and I haven't got them. And I need to go, <sighs> go and get some Allen keys then. This is not just gonna hold, this is just not gonna hold. Okay, so I've got some Allen keys. Gonna tighten this. Doesn't need to be really tight. As long as it holds, that's it. That's it, that's all it needs to be. It's there. 
Okay, so another thing why I was able to unscrew this because the nipple broke off on the old one. So I if I'm doing it the same way, I need to unscrew this first. Uh, or I need to loosen this up. I think loosening this up would be a better idea. But I'm not sure what's involved in loosening that up. Let me try and loosen that up and we'll come back to this. If we can't loosen this up, then we're going to have to unscrew this, screw it back on, screw back this in, and then tighten it and go from there. But let me try loosen that first. Hello, are you an Audi user and do you own a phone? Sometimes you find yourself outside with your phone and nowhere to put it. Just simply slot it in here and your phone will be always visible in your eyes as you work on your car. I don't think it's gonna it's gonna go so I'm ditching that idea and I'm taking out the nipple because I don't want to break it I will take out I will take out a nipple I take out a nipple and then I'll screw it onto this And it should stop right about right about here maybe yes that's where it's stopping so now I'll just go and see if I can tighten it a little bit more yes this is where it's going to be I'll take it out first now this is the end this is the end for the for the screw to go in so now what I need to do is find them holes for these screws and then I'll be able to screw it in uh, uh. We've got one. So 
second one. We've got second one. Third and fourth. I think this is going pretty well so far. So now we have 16 head. We've got an extension here. We can tighten it a little bit more. another another washer or might get some thicker washers I think thicker washers would do better because the original bolt had thicker washers and they're like locking a little bit see so I'll see if I can find some washers like that and just swap them over at the moment It's all going to plan. Now we're gonna tighten those. Whew. Now before I tighten them, I might look into I might look into getting the handbrake handbrake cable. Tighten them a little bit, like so. Now, handbrake cable. We've got one more thing to put on. Is that there, just above, just above the handbrake cable hole? Give it a little bit of a slippery slopey. maybe so it's easier to push in slippery slopery and now we push Oops. went in straight away beautiful okay so now I've got only one hole that uh, is missing that packer I'll see if I can buy some on uh, the internet and then we'll just pop it. We can take that off, lift that up and just pop it in. So it's nice and complete. Okay, so now this is in the place. I can get my 911 spanner and just tighten, uh, tighten it to the tightest of the tightest. Let's put it back in there. Now we need the, oh yeah, I said the cable. Okay, so this needs to go in first. Like so. Through here. Yes. Okay. Okay. And now we need to put it onto there. But I need a screwdriver. Boom. Extend this. This is going to be a bit tricky because there's a spring on this. And it's always pushing on there. So for me to get that in, I need to create like a gap in between this and the spring uh, 
it's possible to do it. Hmm. What if I... Tricky, 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 tricky. If I take this off, it'd be a lot easier. Would it be? But I need to take all of it off. Hmm. can go there, no problem, but then this needs to gap. <clears throat> So as you saw, it wasn't easy, but we are sort of getting there. So now I need to put back the 
ABS sensor in. The light is fading, so. I can't really see. Okay. Let's screw that on. And tightened it. You already seen how it's done because I've done it before even even though I didn't need to so you know how it goes uh, 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 uh. that's it tight enough now reconnect the sensor and that Tighten this. Uh, that is tight. Now all you need to do is put back the nipple. Don't forget. The nipple goes in there. And it's tightened with 7 mil. It doesn't need to be tight because you loosen it. Anyway, it just needs to be screwed on. It doesn't need to be super tight. It doesn't hold anything. Well, it holds a little bit of pressure. Uh, created by your pedal, but that's it. So, the cylinder head, uh, cylinder head, this is cylinder. And that's a head is screwed. The nipple is screwed on tight. The 911 bolt is tight. The ABS sensor is in. That is in. That is in there. And I think we are getting close. So now I'm gonna tighten these, so I don't forget. A little bit tighter. Like, a little bit tighter. Because I don't want my wheel falling off. Because that basically holds the wheel. just go through all of them I haven't got the torque wrench I wish I could afford one but this is good good as well now what we need to do now is put the oh nipple is there so this we don't need this now we need to put the hub on Now that everything is tight, now let's screw it back on. Screw. With these screws, there's like a, what you call, a bearing, but it's loose bearing, so you have to tighten it. You tighten it as much as you can, or if I had the torque wrench, and then you release a little bit, and then it sets, and it sets right. So what I usually done previously is tighten them or as advised by my friend ages ago you tighten it as much as you can and then you just loosen it half a turn and then it is correctly okay so now tighten that as much as I could and Loosen it. A little bit. There we are. Yep. 
Yeah, so it doesn't spin freely, I think. Like that. That's it. That's perfect. Now we introduce this thing, which is beautifully painted, as you can see. Uh, so just to recoup, boom, that is screwed in, that is tight, that is tight, ABS sensor tight, this is connected, those four screws are tight, springs are in, this is all sitting correctly, that's it, we can close it off, and then I need to lift the the wedge because I can't I can barely put it on so what you do is you lift this wedge a little bit because <clears throat> it wedges itself as you drive and push which means the pad is getting used all of it because if it gets stuck you would break a few times and you'd have no brakes so this is adjusting for the wear of the of the um, brake pads but I need to lift it a little bit okay I think it's a bit of it's gonna be a little bit of wiggling but because it's new it's super tight let's see has like a little ridge to go over <laughs> yeah <sighs> put this hub in place Let's screw, ah, the screw is different now. I've got a Allen key. Okay. Let's screw this on here. Ah. Brand new brakes. They're gonna have to adjust while driving. Uh, I think, yeah, cause it's not really tight. They're gonna have to adjust. Mm, uh, they're gonna get loose. It's just the, there was like a little lip and uh, what you would do it's changed this as well, but I haven't changed it and I painted a little bit of paint on so it's gonna wear off and it's gonna be fine. I hope. <laughs> so now all I have to do This is it for this video. It's now done. It's finished uh, Next thing I need to do is bleed the system change the other one boom 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 do exactly the same and then I'm gonna bleed the system then I can drive so thank you for watching this video and like and subscribe as always if you didn't like you you don't like if you subscribe you support the channel and thanks again bye bye